to say welcome to Kimbaya. Welcome to Kimbaya. <laughs> okay. Just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. This is a coffee I grabbed at the terminal and it was about coffee and milk. Tasty good. And so here we go. Here, leaving Armenia and uh, we're going to go up through Montenegro, which is where the uh, coffee park is, the amusement park, and then continue on to Kimbaya. I notice up here is El Jardin, uh, where I plan to go soon. Pineda, of course, we know. Uh, and we've already been here to Finlandia, did a video, and Salento, and uh, actually done several videos there. But today we're going to talk about this area, which is really only about five miles apart. Now, Kimbaya, uh, the name comes from a civilization that went from about the first century to the ninth century, and nobody's quite sure what happened to them. Uh, they were not killed off by the Spanish. Uh, they were gone before the Spanish came along, but these are, they worked in gold, and these are uh, examples of the artwork they did way back. Uh, these are headdresses. But this next one, you're gonna recognize if you've watched any of those alien, ancient alien uh, shows. They had, they found dozens of these. You notice these are all a little bit different variations. And it is curious, they certainly look like airplanes. So we get to Kimbaya, and of course, this beautiful countryside. This is the river that runs through there. And there's things you can do. There's Panaka, which is a, uh, a park you can go to, ride horses, uh, kind of see how the farms operate. And there's a number of farms you can go and visit. Welcome to Kimbaja. <laughs> That's Marcella. You may remember her from a video that I did uh, interviewing her with her girlfriend, Valentina. Uh, she's an English major. And um, and so was Valentina. Valentina. And uh, she was on vacation, so she contacted me. I hadn't seen her in a while. Uh, we used to get together once in a while for lunch. She has a boyfriend, so please, none of those typical comments. And um, so, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm going to Kimbaya. Why don't you come along? And so she did. Here you can see the typical park. Uh, it's almost a you've seen one, you've seen them all kind of thing. Uh, in South America, it's pretty much everywhere. When You know, in Cuenca, it's got a number of these. Uh, even the little town of Giron I lived in had a beautiful little park in the center right near the church. Now the video uh, here the sound would cut in and out, uh, so I pretty much lost the sound, anything that I said along the way, uh, which is unfortunate. And you notice it, it'll stutter and hiccup and uh, just act up once in a while. I don't know exactly what was going on. There's something to do with my stabilizer, and I'm trying to sort it out. It's relatively new it's only about four or five months old so I... it's warm certainly hope I can salvage it um, I just don't know and so as a result of the uh, video acting up uh, we left several hours early. There were some particular things that I had planned on 
taking video of and all I have that's actually salvageable is the walk around the center of town. And so I'll show you that. Uh, you may find it kind of boring. You may find it interesting. I don't know. It is, it is uh, Kimbaya. I almost said Ibage. It is Kimbaya. Uh, so you're getting a, you know, a look at it. Uh, this was on Saturday morning. It was around 10.30 Saturday morning. So Kimbaya has a population of about 50,000. Uh, it's west of Armenia and it's about 12 miles or 20 kilometers uh, from Armenia. Uh, when you hear distances, like I say, Pereira is uh, 16 miles from Armenia, for example, but it takes 40, 45 minutes on the bus. It's because the roads here are very winding. And so if you were to stretch it out, you're, you're probably covering a distance three times as far. So it's not as the crow flies, it's as the road goes. So, um, so that's just something to expect uh, when you're in the Andes, uh, in Ecuador or in Colombia. Now, Kimbaya is actually most known for a festival at the beginning of December, and it's called Dia de las Velitas. And it's the it's a candles and lanterns festival. And if you recall, going back uh, prior to Christmas, uh, two years ago, I did a video in, in Cuenca uh, with my friends, Sandy and Adriana, I'm sure you remember them. And we went downtown and there were uh, lanterns lit all over the ground. So it's, it's similar to that and it's, uh, it's well known for it. And people come from far and wide in, in uh, Colombia to take a look at it. I found this kind of interesting. I see the sound just went off. I found this interesting. This is a store that sells nothing but eggs. And here's a little egg delivery truck. Now, it may not be a big deal. Small things entertain me. It was a little warm, thirsty, so we stopped to get a juice. Uh, mine is blackberries. Hers is maracuya, or passion fruit, and milk. This lady was giving us instructions on some things that I planned a video of. But it was when I noticed that the video was really acting up. And so um, we did manage to get to the part of a small neighborhood, uh, but nothing like I wanted to show. So we just make the best of it, right? <laughs> He was so cute. I would have loved to get more video. Um, I, I I couldn't get the uh, some of the cuteness that was going on there because people very often are, you know, they don't want to feel like they're monkeys in a zoo and. They're not the biggest fans of having a you know, video. So, you know, I do the best I can, but I try to be sensitive to the feelings that most people have about that. I mean, you feel like you're on spectacle. You notice here in the streets, they're, they're kind of, you know, broken up, uh, some disrepair going on. The city was, I would say, average. You have some of that. For the most part, it was uh, pretty nice. It certainly felt very comfortable, safe. As far as the temperature goes, it was a little warm. I'd say it's a little warmer than Armenia. 
Um, but not too far out of the realm. This was the first uh, neighborhood and we're actually on our way to a place that had a lot of houses and apartments. But the camera was getting to the point where it just wasn't even functioning. It actually froze up a couple times. But this is right on the edge of uh, the, the center. And it was very nice, uh, nice people, very friendly. And so I guess this is uh, half a Kambaya on our way back.